Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the channel. Today I have a tutorial for you of how to complete the Five Nights at Freddy's Fractured Custom Zombies map. Now the egg itself is pretty straightforward and it's very simple. There are going to be timestamps down below if you guys are struggling with a particular step, but if you guys want to go ahead and watch the guide all the way through and start from the beginning, then feel free to do so. And with that being said, I hope you guys find this guide pretty straightforward, so let's get into it. Now, before we can get into any Easter egg steps, the first thing we have to do is turn on the power. Now, in order to do this, you're going to need to build up around 4,000 to 5,000 points, make your way into the pizzeria. There should be about three to four doors you have to open up to actually get there. And the first part to the power is going to be right here on the table. The second part to the power can be found on the other side of spawn. Now, go ahead and make your way inside the building, move all the way to the back, and this is where you're going to find your second piece. Now that we have both pieces, let's make our way to the back of the pizzeria. This is where the parts and service area is going to be, and there should be a buildable area for you to build the power. And voila, now you have the power turned on. And to kick off the Easter egg, we need to get a key card. Now the key card can be found right here to the right of the pizzeria on the ground next to the dead soldier. And what you're going to do is you're going to take this key card, go back to this terminal, and it should start a lockdown sequence. After completing the lockdown sequence, make your way back to the terminal and get the debris out of the way, grab your max ammo, and make your way to the other side of the map. Now that we're here, we're gonna pick up three planks. The purpose of the three planks is to open up pack a punch. One can be found here next to the orange car. Take the jump pad to the other side, and right here in the blue truck is where you'll find your second piece. The third and final piece can be found on the other side of spawn, right here on top of this debris. With all three pieces, we can build the bridge to pack a punch, so make your way back to the other side, do a 180 and you'll see a buildable area for those three planks. And while you're over here, go to this computer, turn it from red to green. Now, while we've been doing this step collecting planks, you've probably seen computers all over the map that are red and you need to turn them to green to start the next step. So if you haven't been doing it, then it's no big deal. But now we got to start turning them from red to green. So the first one you just saw is right next to the jump pad. The second one is right next to the landing pad. And your third and final one can be found on the other side of spawn right outside the other pizzeria. This brings us right into our next step. There's going to be a figure that starts talking to you, telling you that he's trapped and that you need to collect an item for him. And if you wait long enough inside the pizzeria, you're going to notice that the summoning key actually spawns right on top of this fountain. All you're going to need to do is shoot it, let it fall to the ground, and then you can pick it up. Sweet. So now that we have the summoning key, we need to bring it back into the pizzeria. Go ahead and interact with this door and let the man talk for a second. Now, he should tell you that we need to charge a summoning key. So go ahead, go back to him, grab the summoning key, and we're going to start the charging step. Now, there's going to be three different places that you're going to need to take the summoning key to start the charging step. In between each step, you're going to have to go back to the door, give him the summoning key, he's going to talk for a little bit, and then retrieve it back from him, and then rinse and repeat. This is going to be for a total of three times. So one can be found right here on the other side of spawn. The other one can be found on the other side of the jump pad where that bridge is. And the last one can be found right here inside of the parts and service room. Congratulations, you've just completed probably the hardest step of this egg. And the last thing to do is go ahead and give a signal to the person inside the room. To do this, just follow my route here, go and interact with these computers, and voila. Now there should be a Bible ending back where you were talking to that guy. And congratulations, you have completed the egg. Now, if you guys like this type of content and you guys think my guides are pretty straightforward and you are also lovers of custom zombies, then consider hitting the subscribe button and notification bell because I plan on coming out with tutorials for a bunch of different custom zombies maps. So stay up to date, stay tuned with the channel, and as always, I love you guys' support. Thank you for tuning in and have a great rest of your day.